Hi, and welcome back to another episode from DIY Tech Bros. My name is Chris. Today we're going to take a closer look at the VSU30 wrapping tool. First you strip off about an inch from the end of the cable. This wrapping tool has a built-in wire stripper, so that makes the job quite easy. As you see in the previous videos and the upcoming videos, me and Mike prefer using cable wrap instead of DuPont cables. The reason for this is because it gives us a more reliable connection without having DuPont cables that slips out and in some cases had a bad or faulty connections. After you stripped off the insulation, insert the wire in the smaller of the two holes in the front of the wire wrapping tool and thread it on a pin or the terminal you want to wrap and turn clockwise. If you want to unwrap the wire, just turn the tools around and turn anti-clockwise. When the wrapping is done, I like to twist the cables like this, just to give it a more nice look and to keep the cables together. Here you can see the comparison with a wire wrap setup and a setup with the DuPont cables on a breadboard. You can wire wrap almost anything that fits inside the tool. Here's just a small example of some of the things that you can wire wrap. Many electrical components are not meant to be used on breadboards or with DuPont cables. The leads can be too short, too thin or too thick. This is where the wire wrap tool comes in handy. In some cases, you can wire wrap components directly on the terminal, without any cable between. A good example of this is to wrap resistors directly to the terminal of the LED. Mark, not all the resistors are 30 gauge. The wire wrap tool I use in this video is the WSU30M, bought on banggood.com. I leave a link to the tool in the description below. Hope you liked this video, remember to subscribe and welcome back.